Hi, it's Tony from Cassette Comeback. Happy New Year 2022. Even though we're in mid-February, in fact, uh, we're on Valentine's Day and I'm making a video, so it shows how good my Valentine's Day is going. <clears throat> Anyhow, right, so I'm going to start by uh, bringing you up to date on stuff regarding Cassette Comeback and Red Manor Records. So um, if you look at this picture here, Bing, you'll see that uh, I'm in fact closing down Red Manor Records. Uh, I have been for a few weeks, but if you hadn't seen the Facebook posts, uh, I've got just a few of the This Is Synthwave one and three vinyl records left so if you were thinking about getting one they're now £9.99 each so that's £9.99 for a double heavyweight coloured record in a gatefold yeah I'm losing money on everyone I sell but as they say it's better to know you've lost than to kid yourself you'll win and why am I closing Red Manor down well it, it's simple the record companies killed off physical media for digital and streaming and then a few years into that they've gone oh dear we don't actually make any money from streaming how can we make money oh I know let's do the 575th reissue of rumors by Fleetwood Mac on vinyl that's brilliant get some dark side of the moons on there as well so basically I can't order any more vinyl without them to wait at least 12 months i mean last time i asked a record pressing plant if i could send them some stuff to get pressed they just laughed at me so no records that's the end of that there wasn't enough cassettes and cds sold to you know mini this as well to make it worthwhile actually doing them anymore because you got to think you know they need artwork doing artwork creating and it all needs putting into the right templates and it needs printing and cutting and assembling and stickers and then i dubbed the cassette single speed it just wasn't worth it for the amount that we're selling to be fair so without the you know the records which to be fair didn't sell very well either um yeah it's just time to say you know better to know that you've lost than to kid yourself that you're going to win so it was a nice little diversion through lockdown but ultimately as a business it doesn't work so red my records closing down the final day is going to be what did i say it's going to be i think it's going to be not the 18th i think it's the 25th yeah the 25th is going to be the last day for Red Manor Records, so if you want one of these records, like I say, £9.99, go up to redmanorrecords.co.uk and get yourself on board. However, it does mean the cassette comeback is coming back because on the 26th, Red Manor will rebrand as cassette comeback. And I've already got some nice tapes up there. Now, don't think this is going to be a long term thing because basically, before Red Manor came along, I knew that I was going to need some decent tape so i kept a lot of stock back hopefully to duplicate tapes on them and it didn't work out that way so i've got a lot of cassettes in the vaults that i'm now releasing and you guys can get along to redmanorecords.co.uk soon to be cassettecomeback.co.uk and get yourself some of them bought as well if you like so right that's that tidying up so let's uh, now address a little elephant in the room the publicity machine that has got everywhere is talking about these things bing yes look at them reels look like gold made out of plastic um people have asked me oh so when you're reviewing them tony and i'm going to say to you frankly i'm not going to review them i trust the opinions of the guys on tape heads and people that have reviewed this type 2 tape from knack and it is don't say that tascam have suddenly got some different formula it's not it's knack's type 2 tape which for all intents and purposes is about as poor as the type 2 tape can get you know apart from maybe the acme stuff from hong kong but uh, I'm not going to be reviewing them because A, they don't believe anywhere outside of the USA exists, neither them nor ATR. And to get one of them, it's going to cost me about £50 in my hand. And that's just money down the train for a, for a tape that I know isn't going to be any good um, for a video that will never recoup that £50. So I'm not going to be reviewing them. However, this video is about new-ish tapes and I'm going to show you what they are. They're these. Well, there we go. So, so nicely put together and then whoosh, all gone. So what are these? Well, as I said, I was keeping the stop pile of tapes back for duplication purposes for music uh, for Red Manor. But now that Red Manor's going, all these lovely cassettes that I had, which I bought, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to need these when they were available, 
I'm not going to need any more. So I couldn't, didn't want to just sell them as plain old blanks. So I've tarted them up a bit. I've given them J cards, I've given them stickers, and I'm going to go through them with you what they are. So this is the cassette comeback HBS 46. Why HBS? High bias SKC. Because this tape is loaded with SKC tape. Um, it's a QX version as far as I can tell because SKC did a Ferro Cobalt which was a QX and then it did the CD which was Cobalt Doped Chrome but these are not Chrome these are Ferro Cobalt but uh, yeah so I mean basically this this is the cassette it's uh, a duplicated cassette but um, it's a nice one with the black black thing at the back you know the uh, slip sheet now the labels that come with it uh, I've been, you know, when I've been duplicating these cassettes, I've been having labels left over and I've been putting them to one side. So these ones are actually going to come with a genuine set of Axia uh, labels to stick on there because that's, that's yeah, that's what I'm going to put with them. And yeah, they're, they're loaded with SKC tapes and they come in this 46 minute version, which uh, comes in a slim case. Because that is actually, if you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see, is it there? No, but that's actually an, an Axia slim case as it is. And it also comes in a 90 minute variant, which comes with a, you know, with a genuine SKC labels for it. In a similar shell, um, the similar box, but that's a full size box. We've got 46 and 90 minute versions of the HBS. Now there is another type 2 which is the HBB because it's high bias but it comes with BASF tape in it and this is the the BASF tape Pro Chrome so it says Pro Chrome but it's not Chrome it's the ferro cobalt stuff that um, BASF used to sell to duplicators and I've got this in 60 minutes and it's proper 60 minute tape this is not 90 minute cut down because if we sort of compare the tape pack to the 90 there, uh, oh, I need to get some something white behind it, but it's in fact it even looks it looks a bit thicker than the 90 does the 60 almost. So yeah, it's proper 16 micron BASF Pro Chrome in that one, and that comes with genuine Excel sticker sheets with it. Yeah. Get these are messy everywhere now and now the last one in the range is this one which is the MBM which is Metal Bias Maxell 62 minutes this and as it suggests this is loaded with Maxell tape and it's got a really nice if I can just get it behind it, it's got like one of them stabilizing mechanisms behind the bottom of it so it's a really nice shell this however there is just one little thing to point out, even though it looks like it's a Type 4 shell and it was designed for it, the actual Type 4 tabs are still in. So if you're thinking of getting these to record on an auto sensing deck, you're going to have to either, you're going to have to drill yourself a couple of little holes in the top with your Dremel or whatever, because uh, otherwise it'll detect it as a Type 2, which as we all know isn't a problem for playback because Type 2 and Type 4 play at 70 microseconds but for recording it will be a problem so either record it in a deck where you can manually select this as a metal tape or you're gonna to have to drill some holes in the top but that's why these let's just put this into perspective 62 minutes and this is 16 micron tape this isn't 90 minute tape cut thin 62 minutes in a nice shell Max LMX tape available now for less than £10. In fact, £8.99 for a 62 minute tape. That's, yeah, that's that's a bargain. You can't get a, a decent metal tape cheaper, but like I say, you have to drill your own holes in there. And these come again with uh, genuine Max L stickers. So these are the four tapes I'm going to be putting out there. I don't have masses and masses of these. Well, I don't have thousands of them, but uh, I thought, what the heck, let's do something a bit different with all these new cassettes being launched and all the publicity. Let's just launch some new cassettes which actually don't have plastic reels in them that look like metal, but they're not. That aren't filled with new tape, which isn't very good. And they don't cost $35 a piece. They're filled with, you know, old tape from 
from well-known manufacturers which is good heavens forbid but um let's go and have a listen to them you don't need to tell my hyperbole how good these really are so we're going to have a listen to the 60 uh we'll listen to the 46 because we've got the basf the skc and of course we'll have a miss listen to the metal as well so uh yeah let's go fire up a deck and see how these sound Right, the first one we shall look at is the HBS 46 with the SKC Type 2 in. And use the ZX9 because, well, you know, the cassette comeback brandy cassettes, I want them to sound the best that they can. I've already calibrated it up for this, so we're going to go straight in to having a listen. And this is from the YouTube Audio Library. This is from DivKid and it's called Rich in the 80s and I like it because it's got a definite synthwave vibe to it. So let's have a listen. That's good, the playlist has already kicked it on the next track. Ha ha ha. Never mind, we'll stop it there. So, yeah, now you got to admit that was a pretty bassy song because, um, yeah, I made sure that I played some of the source bits when the bass kicks in because that is a very bassy song. But what do you want? I thought that performed really well, yes. In the quiet parts, there is hiss, but it's uh, ferro cobalt. There's always this there, but I was only riding that at plus three. These could probably be ridden hotter if you want, but when there was actual music playing, I thought this did a really great job. So that's why I'm happy to put cassette comeback on these cassettes because, like I say, I've never met a, an SKC tape that I didn't like. One of the most underappreciated brands. So let's go to our next type two, which is the one with the BASF 
Prochrome in it. Even though it's called Prochrome, it's a ferro cobalt. It's a strange name, but anyway, let's bias this one up now because the biasing will be different to the SKC. So bear with me, test tones are coming. And I tell you what, let's bias it up on the other bits first. Yep. Needs less bias than the SKC. Let's check now for the azimuth. And if you've not seen the ZX9 before, sorry, azimuth, I mean record head azimuth. The playhead is fixed, record head you can alter, all right. That's in place, yeah. Yeah, okay, that seems pretty much all done, so. Let's record the next track, which is called, bear with me one second. Yeah, a bit of a chilled one, this one. It's called Island Dream, and this is by a guy called Chris Haugen. So, let's have a listen to Island Dream. What do you expect from a BASF Pro Chrome? I mean, go through the Pro Chrome ferro cobalt uh, mixture in this is the same stuff, I think, I believe, that they put into the lights of the uh, Pro, uh, the late Chrome Maxima and the TP2 reference Maxima. It's about as good as ferro cobalt type 2 get based on the late Max LXLS XL2S formula, which was the only one I think they actually got really right. I mean, it's nice to see some really shiny jet black well calendared type 2 tape in a new type 2 tape isn't it not not digging at anyone at all there but yeah it's as good as you'd want definitely a great tape so let's move on now to das metal so because of course this is a, a deck where i can select metal bias there i can easily calibrate this up and record on it but like i say if your deck's an auto sensing one, oh, you know something. Ah, the benefits of using a VLC player in a playlist where it just doesn't stop after every tune. <coughs> anyway, right, let's bias this up now. OK, 
Okay, the azimuth is out, but let's get the rest done. Okay, cord azimuth there. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is, while this plays is, I'm going to crank the volume up a bit. We're going to record this a bit hot because it's a metal. We've got to record it hot, don't we? So, yeah. Now this track is called Positive Fuse and it's by someone called French Fuse and it's a really good track this, so uh, enjoy. So yeah, it's got English made late Max LMX tape in it. What did you expect? I mean, that's peaking at plus 10 at some points. Uh, yeah. Metal, like I say, I never met a metal cassette that disappointed me. Well, at least none that hadn't deteriorated, but yeah. What do you want? £8.99 for a cassette that performs like that in this day and age? Trust Tony. He'll sort you out. There you go, some nice new old stock cassettes in, yes, I know, I, I didn't point it out, but the design of the packaging, yes, has very much been lifted from Denons of the late 80s because I I really like that design. I mean, you know, they, these are properly J cards, you can write on the back, but uh, yeah, I, I like that design, that's, that's why I stole it from them. But um, yeah, there we go, not a lot more else to say, the cassettes sort of spoke for themselves so if you want any or any of the others i've got some really nice cassettes up these ones are strange um quantity yeah but they're in that swan or shells never seen them before but anyway uh, i digress go over to cassettecomeback.co.uk or redmanrecords.co.uk and uh get yourself these and any of the others we've got like um the uh, basf ones the c60s brilliant i've been i can't get keep them in stock i'm just selling and selling them nine pound 99 for 10 
you know you, you can't beat that anywhere in the world right now for a tape of that quality so um yeah until next time until you know unless a, a little dicky bird comes and lands on my shoulder and tells me about some reclusive millionaire who's spent millions developing some top of the range cassette decks but you know doesn't want to say who they are or give any actual details because god forbid any of us should like no one be foaming at the mouth ready with our money to buy it you know we don't want publicity like that no we want to keep it all hush hush but uh, unless that happens i'll see you in the next video until then happy taping bye bye